This is it, Corvo. The last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. The most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. The broadcast control station here, where all them announcements come from, might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. All right, here we are in Dunwall Tower. You know what you're doing, I'm sure of that. But you might consider trying not to set off any alarms. If you do, you can bet the Lord Regent will retreat up to the roof. Say he's got some kind of bunker up there. Watch yourself here, Corvo. The Lord Regent loves his newfangled technology. Word is, he had one of those watchtowers put up in the front courtyard. There's a moat out in front of the tower. If you're quick enough, you might be able to use it to get inside. Watch it, though. A friend of mine used to be a gardener here, and the moats are full of very hungry hagfish. All right. So that's something that I haven't really explored all that much in this playthrough so far, is that I didn't really realize it until now, but you can get a good amount of dialogue exhausted out of Samuel as soon as the mission starts, and he'll give you some tips. So... Uh, if you remember last episode, it ended with me kind of sounding like I resented doing this mission. I gotta get up the water lock. Remember when we came up here in a boat at the beginning of the game? Um, so anyway, I'm glad to announce that what I was thinking of was actually the Dunwall Tower mission in Dishonored 2. Um, which sucks and is terrible. Um... So, uh, in Dishonored 2, there is a mission that takes place in Dunwall Tower, and it's probably my least favorite mission in the game. It's just so boring and lame. This mission in Dishonored 1 is super good, because I played through it before I started recording, because I was like, okay, better check, you know, how it's my system, you know that. But I played through this level, and I'm like, wait, this level rules. So, you'll be very pleased to note that I was mistaken, and that Dishonored 2 actually just has a really bad rehash of this level, so. The lower region resides here, as do those who await their turn with the Executioner. But the departments differ. I'm gonna try using the heart a lot in this, uh, in this mission, because the heart actually has a lot of interesting things to say. Makes sense, because this is kind of like the final mission. It is interesting how there's just kind of like a little platforming section at the beginning of the game here. Or the beginning of this mission, I mean. Yep. Thank you. And some coins. Shake hands, but then no, quiet. Okay. Ooh, okay, those things freaking give me the creeps. I'm gonna have to use dark vision a lot in this level, and it is because, um, and I must say, this is a good amount of gameplay story integration here. This place is swarming with guards. Like, there's not a neutral area, like how there is in Clavering Boulevard or in the Boyle Party that we just attended. This place is 100% hostile zone. Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer. There we 
go. This is a bit of a secret way. If you want to go through that building, it's a lot harder because there's two guards patrolling there and you're going to get seen no matter what. Well, actually, no, not no matter what. I actually have managed to stealth through that area. You have to jump in, in and out of the little wall corners there. Anyway, the main direction ahead is blocked by a wall of light. And I don't believe that you can actually get access to the whale oil canister from this side of the wall, so you're just going to have to find a way around it. Here we are. He walks the floor, careful to touch each stone only once, counting. He cannot purge his mind of the boss. Dunwall Tower is not so tall that it can rise above the stench of death. There's one specific piece of dialogue from the heart that I would like to get. And it's a cool little reveal, if you will. Because the heart knows secrets. Ooh. Tall boys have such massive cones of vision, it's terrifying. I didn't- I for, kind of forgot, like, what- They were such a friggin' presence in the playthroughs that I did before, and I absolutely forgot. Okay. If we go up here... This is that gazebo where the Empress got killed, isn't it? Don't you love the view from here? This place makes me sad. Why is that? This is where the Empress was killed by that wretched murderer. Everything changed for the worse after that day. It was a dark day for sure, but things were already bad with the plague. In any case, I wouldn't dwell on it. Let me comfort you. I need to get back to work. Can I come by and see you later? I don't think it's a good idea tonight. Yeah. Uh, little bit of thing to take note of. That guy, that guard right there, is a City Watch officer. If you remember from when I went to Sokolov's house, City Watch officers are absolutely killers when it comes to sword fights, like if you get caught and they engage you in combat. And essentially every guard here is an officer status. I didn't add in that sound effect. That plays whenever you enter this area in this mission. Specifically this gazebo. We have both been here before. Oh. There's one of those automated watchtowers. They're going to be a hassle to deal with. Huh? Weird. There we go. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Oh shoot! Watchtower is going to see me. Anyway, I think I kind of complained last mission about how me upgrading Dark Vision was pointless. It's actually very useful because I didn't realize that it highlights cords and like whale oil tanks and even like collectibles through walls. So it's probably one of the better upgrades. This place used to have a wall of light, but I guess it busted. I believe in Dishonored 2, when you do this mission, you actually enter from here. Yeah, you do. There's actually quite a scene when you enter through here. But, if you go over here, you can find a little gap in the plating. And as you can probably notice by now, this place is virtually unrecognizable from the prologue. Um, it has been... Oh. It has been absolutely fortified to an insane degree. Like, there's steel constructions everywhere, there's searchlights, and there's tall boys patrolling the place. Probably rats into everything. 
Come on, turn around. Okay. Captain Briarmont, I must ask to speak with one of your men. Corporal Keyes reports to you, I believe. According to the morning duty officer, Keyes has been making his way to the basement, meeting with the royal interrogator. I have no idea what they discussed, but it's been reported that Keyes has an interest in the occult. Either way, I'm not overseer, so I don't give a fig for how he spends his off time when he's not on duty. But keep him away from the torture. The basement is off limits. Yeah, so that starts a side quest, and uh, I will admit the side quest is pretty damn forward. How it literally just says kill the torturer. Um, there's actually like a decent reason to kill the torturer. And I believe it's the only side quest in the game where you literally have to kill someone to complete it. Although, you know, side quests are just side quests and it's not like an RPG where you get experience. It's just something to do. Ah. Oh, okay. Sure. Wait. Samuel mentioned earlier that if any alarms get set off, uh, the Lord Regent, like, the whole complex is rigged so that the alarm is right, uh, directly alerting the Lord Regent. And he'll t make a break for his safe room in the top of the castle. I want to shut down that watchtower before I head inside. Is this a way in? Nice. Okay. Having an upgrade to the range of Blink has been really useful in the long run. There's a rune that way. And a rune looks like at the top of Dunwall Tower, so... Let's head here. Oh, it's right there. You can even see runes with dark vision now. That's quite nice. Wait, are we going to turn in some direction that'd make this easier? Huh? Oh, great. Now oh, this guy's entered. I didn't mean to activate the heart there. I thought I had dark vision on. Oh, come on, dude. Ugh. I don't think he'll see anyone unconscious, will he? Now's a good time to stop time. All right. And then. All right. Sewer capacity. Oh, I've already read this one before in Galvani's office. Yeah, I believe. Time stop and possession are the most expensive, like, mana spells to cast. Cast? I feel like use is the right term, but anyways. Um, so I try to limit the amount because, you know, I do have a lot of mana potions, but... All access to the Dunwall Tower is hereby restricted via water lock only. Front gate is sealed with no exceptions. The order issued from the office of General Tobias with the full authority of the Lord Regent. Um, actually, hold on. This is your quarters, isn't it? Here. Or maybe you're just a maid. These are the soldiers' quarters. Yeah. Anyway, take a nap. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Probably. Never doubt it. Your 
report, General Tobias? Everything is secure on the ground, Lord Regent. It won't hurt to check again. I'm going to head down and retire to my bedroom. Begging your pardon, sir, but I think it would be best if you stay in your safe room on the roof for now. I need the comfort of my own bed tonight. I trust you and your men can handle the tower security. Double the guard if you have to. Come see me before you finish your rounds. Yes, as you wish, Lord Regent. I'm heading up. Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. Yes, sir. If the plague were to take the entire city, or flames consume it, Dunwall Tower would be the last to fall. Oh, and there's the broadcast control station. That is an interesting area. You're going to really like what you can do in this mission. Yep. God, everyone's coughing. Think they have the plague? Yep. Ooh, okay. Oh, the Dunwall Tower skeleton key that I got from the Boyle Mansion. That's awesome. Okay. Go. Should be good now. A lot of cool gameplay elements culminate in this mission, I must say. Like, there's arc pylons, there's walls of light, tall boys. Pieces of equipment that you got from previous missions. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust in the Regent. Let's talk to the propaganda guy. Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. All right. So this is the non-lethal takedown method, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. But for the sake of satisfaction and because these are two methods that I've never really done before, um, I'm going to show you both the lethal and non-lethal ways of taking them out. Torture's chambers. I want to head there first. I think that way. Skeleton key comes in handy once again. And this train needs to go to the torture. I mean, to the royal interrogation. Oh no! Why do I have to take it? He's harmless, unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange. Always working on something he keeps secret. Then he has that brute of a dog. Trust me, he's gentle as a lamb. Now, take him his food. His food is grapes and an apple? The royal interrogator's a vegetarian or something? Uh oh. Don't turn this way. And the wrong power selected. Okay. What just happened? Was he carrying a 
That guy's dead too. Nobody heard that. I think he was. I think he was carrying a friggin' a, a jar of whale oil, and he he friggin' he dropped it when he saw me, and he blew himself up. That's what? <laughs> what the hell? I gotta hide these people. There, you're sleeping. Oh my god. The hell? I, that's never happened ever. What in the world? He's lost a foot. I gotta cover this. Uh, Jesus Christ. I, what? <laughs> he was carrying a jar of whale oil. And it fucking blew up on himself. I've been hearing strange noises from the end of the hall. What the hell? It's probably coming from the torturer's <laughs> room. He's a walking freak show. Just stay clear of it. Everyone does. What's wrong with him? He's mute. But it's more than that. <laughs> I'm recovering from the that. The were furious because they suspect him of practicing the dark arts. But the regent ordered them to leave him alone for now. Like I said, avoid the area. Don't worry about me, sir. That sounds like a bad combination all around. I think you can see him from here with dark vision. Yeah. You're washing your hands. Ate his food. To heal me from the freaking explosion I was just in. Trying to get the heart dialogue on him. There we go. I believe that's the only way you actually learn this guy's name. I think I'm gonna fight him in open combat because there's something about him that I want you to see. But first, I gotta get rid of his dog. Oh. Um. Yeah. So he has powers. Ow. And he's kind of immune to regular instant kills. So, he has supernatural powers, and they did talk about how he was associated with the occult. So you might be thinking, well, why is that? And it's this note here. Oh dearie dearie, down in the cellar so dreary, I want you come out to see me. When you were here, we made them scream, come back to visit and I'll give you another present, carved and shiny. There aren't much in the way of proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch you work. Your dear granny. So this guy knew Granny Rags. Oh, and then a shrine to the outsider here. Here you are, Corvo, within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. What an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things, make it all right again and crown a new Empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. 
Oh. Overall movement speed increase or push back, knock down enemies and shattered. So I've been thinking about getting Wind Blast. I read the description while I was playing through this level the first time, and it sounded pretty good. Um, I don't know how many more runes I'll get, but I think agility is probably better in the long run because it just makes me move faster. Okay, well the dog's alive, but this guy's dead. Kind of got my ass kicked. Anyway, what the outsider said there. Either way, I expect a good show. I really like that kind of character. I don't know if there's like an archetypal name for that kind of character, but I the best word I can come up with is spectator god. A kind of all-powerful being that doesn't use his powers for anything. He just likes to observe what people below him do. And I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Although they are pretty prevalent. Especially in video games, for some reason. Um, above me? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a good spectator god from another piece of media. Um, yes, Jeff. What do I do now? Did not expect that guy to just be at the door. <laughs> Give me a heart attack. Not as much of a heart attack as the, um... The whale oil incident that we just had. It's an overseer and his dog over there. This dog might be able to smell me. You can see this place is really, uh... Fortified. I mentioned it earlier, but there's bright lights just blasting dark corners so that it's super hard to hide in them. Oh, it's... <laughs> the region's gotten completely paranoid, and it makes sense, because at this point, I basically killed his entire little inner circle. We got... Or not killed, I guess, necessarily, but I've eliminated them. Pendleton Brothers, Lady Boyle, uh, Overseer Campbell. Um... Are you going to turn this way? You are. No, you're not. Okay. I can't hide under there. There's like a little strut. Um. Hmm? Oh, he's just got a music box playing up there. Yeah, I'm lucky the sound doesn't travel through the floors. Ah! you to come with me over here uh. brother anxious heart respond to this letter only recently resolved my disagreements with the abbey and has come upon me as a surprise that some are lobbying me for take up the high ma yeah, mantle high overseer uh speculated that the mute is a torture and dunwall tower might be a follower of the outsider well he was we saw that uh, silence inflicts pain and a hound shadow falls it Miraculous sect, a vision. Tell no others and await my instruction. Martin. So Martin's been overseeing. Huh. Martin's been overseeing the Overseer faction ever since I took care of Campbell. And I hate to admit it, but he kind of has complete power because he 
inherited. Well, I stole it for him. He took. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John is Battle Street Boys jumping. Please, not now. Took Campbell's book of blackmail. Start to record and you're silencing this part that's amore. When you load up the game and I'm feeling quite tame, that's amore. Oh, this is gonna sound terrible in post. Oh, jeez. Why am I carrying this? Oh my god. <laughs> 